Welcome to Josh and Hayes, and today I'm joined by genuine YouTube royalty. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. What are your top tips for YouTube success and glory? When I got into YouTube, which was eight years ago now. Oh wow, long project. Crazy. I yeah. was 13. I had no idea what I was doing. And that's the point. Didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't know that success could come out of it. I didn't know that I could make anything out of it. Mm. I didn't realize it could be a career at the time because also eight years ago YouTube, people didn't really see it that way. It was like, oh that's so cute, you make YouTube videos. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good and, for you, and, babe. Yeah, instead of saying, I want this many subscribers or this amount of views and I want all of this success and I'm going into it with that intention because when that doesn't happen quickly for you then you're going to be disappointed then you're going to want to give up and then it's going to feel like a chore. I see myself and my past videos as my competition so I always want to do better than I have in the past. What's, the, what's been the worst travesty? I tried to make macaroons and I literally was up for almost two days straight like in the kitchen trying to make these and then I was still on camera like oh so easy. <laughs> look how great these look. They're so good. Now, you've interviewed Obama. Yes. I mean, talk about interview goals. That's big. Oh my goodness, big. I've never been so nervous in my life. It's almost as stressful as sitting down with me, right? Yeah, I'm shaking right yeah. now. Can you tell? My <laughs> I can lips tell. You're so shaking. I'm nervous. so nervous. The day before the actual interview with the president, we had a fake interview with a fake Obama. Does fake Obama look like Obama? Not really. If you actually watch it on YouTube, you can see I'm holding my hand like this the entire time. Because you were literally because shaking. Because it was shaking so hard and I didn't want to embarrass myself. So I was just like, yes, Mr. President. Girl got herself a bit. Who's that? I mean, <laughs> mega babe, Vil, on the cover <laughs> over here. Now, Thank what? You. why was it important for you to create a book, do you think? It's also very heavy as far as inspirational, motivational things go. I personally myself love self-help books. I yeah. have so many. <laughs> and it's Are you like, into manifesting? Yes. It's I've just got like, all about manifesting. It's just like all I'm into. That's like all I read is self-help and just self-improvement. And so I wanted to make sure that that was a big part of this book. Yeah. Now on the back of this, a lot of bloggers and YouTubers come up with a lot of like <coughs> negative comments that end up on their feed and stuff like that. How do you address that when you see it? Do you just ignore it? Do you just like brush it off? Does it take quite a lot of practice to get over it? Or are you just like so confident within what you're doing? You're just like, whatever. Screw the haters. Honestly, Sometimes someone will say something like that one thing that I'm already feeling and I'm yeah. like, yeah, I know, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, babe, Thank for rubbing you. that in. Yeah. This was fun. But I try. So much fun. It was so, so good. This was such a good conversation. I would love to come back here. You guys are so great. That almost went a bit Australian. Oh, dang it. <laughs>